Okay, so today we're going to be looking at Color a Dinosaur for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Color a Dinosaur is essentially a coloring game where you color dinosaurs with a couple colors and a handful of patterns, and that's all there really is to it. You color dinosaurs with a crappy interface and a tiny, and I mean tiny, selection of colors and palettes and seizure-inducing flashing paint colors. That's all you really do. So I'm going to rush through to this, so bear with me here. You have 16 different dinosaurs to <coughs> color with weird patterns and only a couple actual solid colors. The artwork is rather nicely drawn, all things considered. It's not detailed, it's not masterful, but it's clean, it's cartoonish, you know, cartoony dinosaurs. Nothing wrong with that. The only thing is your choice of colors is rather limited. Like I said, you only have a couple solid colors, and the rest of it are all patterns and stuff. And the end result will be perfectly good line art spoiled by crappy color choices. You do have different palettes that you could cycle through by pressing the select button. But in changing the palettes, you also change the colors that are implemented on your masterpiece. So if there's an orange that you used in one palette and you switched the palettes, that orange in the artwork is going to become something else because you can't mix and match colors for some reason. Which really limits what you could do with Color a Dinosaur. Control and Color a Dinosaur as well. Well, there's not much there, is there? You can move the pencil around in a freestyle fashion, much like you would a mouse cursor, and it works about as well as the directional pad moving a mouse cursor would. Or you could go into another control method where you could cycle through specific sections of the art to color, which is actually a lot more trouble than it's worth because it's a cycle, it's left and right, you can't move it up and down, it move the thing up and down, it locks the specific sections, so... But, anyways, whatever, it's you just go freestyle, you're better off. Uh, there's a variety of sound effects that sound like they belong in a totally different game. There's one sound effect that sounds like you're throwing punches, I guess, or whatever. And there's musical jingles that sound like they've been ripped from an unlicensed Color Dreams game or something of that that quality. Which is somewhat sad when you consider that all this musical genius comes from Tommy Tallarico, who usually produces top quality stuff with video game music. I believe he did Earthworm... Uh, he, maybe this was an off day for Tommy, I don't know. Or maybe this was early in his career. Or maybe he threw this crap together when he was in preschool. Or maybe somebody else did the music and just used Tommy's names in the credit just to make the poor guy look bad. Could be that. Or maybe I just don't care either way because I play this thing with the volume all the way down. And then I question why the fuck am I even playing this stupid thing to begin with. Perhaps a more baffling issue is why this game was even conceived, much less released. Color of Dinosaur was released in 1993 when the NES was nearing its last legs. Meanwhile, Mario Paint was released on the Super Nintendo only a year earlier, and that came with a mouse, which made that program much more versatile and tolerable than Color a Dinosaur. Never mind that c the fact that there were more color choices in Mario Paint, and if the included artwork wasn't good enough for your coloring needs, you could always draw your own stuff, which wasn't the case in Color a Dinosaur. Not that I was expecting the NES to be capable of supporting a Microsoft-esque drawing program, but then again, if it were, that doesn't mean it should. You know, it's not practical. You know, it takes five years for the background to fill with a solid color. You know, it's... Uh, whatever. Anyways, if you, really, if you wanted an interactive coloring program, there's Mario Paint on the Super Nintendo, much more versatile than Color a Dinosaur. Uh, alternatively, you could go to your local Windows PC, which comes with the Microsoft Paint program, which is no Photoshop, but it's still better than Color a Dinosaur, it's even better than Mario Paint for that matter. Or you could go with the preferred method of going to your local dollar store or Poundland or even retail store and buying a coloring book with a set of coloring pencils or crayons of your choice and giving them to your child and going with that instead. Because you're not going to get anything out of Color a Dinosaur. Color a Dinosaur, for all intents and purposes, is not worth the effort. And, um... Uh, yeah. So, that's it. I'm going to stop here. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to see if I could bribe anyone to buying WrestleMania 28. Good night.